What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to bring your IMPC Pro 2 sounds into your Beatmaker 3 app. I'm going to show you two ways how to do this. The first way is a little bit more time consuming, so I don't really like to do it this way. But you open your audio copy where your IMPC Pro 2 sounds are, and you just pick the file you want, and you share it into Beatmaker 3. It's that simple. It'll load into your sample, and you could just drag and drop. Now, I like to do it the other way because I, I take the whole bank and I pretty much save it into Beatmaker 3 and put it into my bank preset in there. So you open your Beatmaker 3 and then you're just going to pick a bank, go to the sampler section, you're going to hit the interapp audio and load your IMPC Pro 2 up. I'm just going to go into there and I'm going to actually load a template and load a bank up that I want to save. So I'll pick the, um, I'll go into tweak, hit the audio paste, and you can load up uh, the audio copy with all the sounds if you don't already have them in here. I'm just going to pick the Arab Slam Kit. I'm going to paste that and then load it onto the banks in the IMPC Pro. I'll let you hear them all. Okay, so that's the bank I want. I know I don't want that 12. I just want the, the drum sounds and hi-hats and a couple of effects. So I go back to my Beatmaker 3, and I'm going to click down here to start. Then I go back into the IMPC Pro, and one at a time, I'm going to hit each pad. And what this is doing is just recording them into the Beatmaker 3. So you want to let your sound die all the way before you hit the next pad. Once that's done, you just go back to your Beatmaker 3, exit out of this, go to your sample, and you see everything you just hit is recorded right here. Now you just go into slice mode and chop these up however you like them. I know it's 15 I want, so I'm just going to go into auto slice 15, and then, you know, I just edit them in here. You can also add effects or whatever you want onto this bank and save it, or just leave it as is. So I'm just going to fix these up real quick to get every chop the way I want them by trimming them down. And once you finish that, you hit the save, apply, and you see here now you have all those sounds in that whole bank onto this bank. Then you just come up here and you want to save the bank. So I name it what it is. It's the Arab Slam Kit. And you want to make sure to copy these so the sample's always in there. Now once you do that, you have these banks saved in your presets now. So you can just load them up whenever into any project you're working on. So I'm going to open a new bank and I'm going to load it up to show you. Click up here to get to your bank presets. You can do this pretty much with any other app that'll load into the Beatmaker 3. You see I have a couple here, Beathawk. I hit the link below. There's another video showing you how to do this in Beathawk and also Core Gadget. And that's how you bring your sounds and drums or whatever over from your IMPC into the Beatmaker 3. Thanks for watching. Check out WeSampleEverything.com. We got tutorials, beats, sample packs, and contests for some prizes on there. And check out the What's in Your iPad podcast every Saturday on all major streaming platforms or the We Sample Everything YouTube channel.